without further ado, I'll hand over to Cassie. Hey. Thank you, Simon. So, fantastic news this morning uh, regarding the nations, the courageous nations of Venezuela and Nicaragua stepping up to offer Edward Snowden asylum yeah. and save him from the persecution of a vengeful United States. Edward Snowden is currently being assisted by WikiLeaks to find safe haven after he so courageously blew the whistle on the universal surveillance, surveillance and spying practices of the United States. The WikiLeaks party is examining what Edward Snowden's prison revelations tell us about the monitoring of Australians and what our politicians are saying to us about that. When challenged in the media and in the parliament on the question of whether Australian intelligence agencies are receiving information from the prison program, a program which backdoors the universal providers of technology such as Google, Facebook and Apple, our Attorney General Mark Dreyfus had nothing to say. Recently, however, Fairfax Media reported that former Labor Defence Minister John Faulkner confirmed that the heads of ASIO and the Defence Signals Directorate, David Irvine and Ian McKenzie, have indeed briefed the Federal Parliament's Intelligence Committee on the US PRISM Internet Surveillance Program. Dreyfus confirmed to Fairfax that this high-level interagency task force is monitoring events and coordinating a government response with an agency spokesperson saying agencies have been meeting formally on this issue and have been coordinated in their consideration of the matter and their briefing of ministers. We know from defence intelligence officials speaking on condition of anonymity that there have been intense exchanges on Mr Snowden's disclosures between the United States National Security Agency, the Central Intelligence Agency and our own intelligence agencies. It cannot be a question that Australians are being monitored under the PRISM program, a program which casts every person as a person of interest to use the old ASIO spying parlance. Had Edward Snowden not contacted journalist Glenn Greenwald with this information, many of us would still labour under the misapprehension that we're carrying out our lives online with some semblance of privacy. None of us can be under this illusion anymore. What makes these revelations even more offensive are our elected representatives' refusal to come clean. It's clear that the Australian and United States cooperation on monitoring of citizens is not limited to special targets selected as being high risk and given special warrants for lawful interception. No, it is all of us, all the time. When will the Australian government admit that its rampant exploitation of post 9-11 fear and paranoia and its eagerness to please Washington gives it an unlimited mandate to spy on its citizens and that privacy is a right it no longer respects or upholds but assumes that we're all happy to give away in, in, the, in the pursuit of our so-called safety. The WikiLeaks party in the Australian Senate will demand that security agencies and the rest of government come clean on what they've signed up to with PRISM and other surveillance programs. Yes. An Abbott or a Rudd-led government will undoubtedly steer us into ever, ever more secretive arrangements with foreign intelligence bodies, with our own telecommunications providers and with our own internet service providers. Rather than going with a rubber stamp for a sweeping surveillance by these foreign powers and providers, our party will insist on knowing the full story of surveillance and data collection and fight to give the power back to the Australian people to decide what rights to privacy and liberty we deserve. Thank you. Vote WikiLeaks Party. Vote Pirate. Vote WikiLeaks Party. Thank you.